Hey there gamers, I am from GamePod, your gaming guide channel. I already have uploaded trailers of games that are coming in this June, but if you wish to see that video, link is given on the description or you can go to the i button. But today we will talk about the best games of this June which help you to play in my opinion obviously. And one more thing, if you want to know some good games which you want to suggest us, then comment down below. We love to hear from you. So let's not waste any more time. Let's begin. Starting with number 10, Diablo Immortal. Diablo Immortal, which was previously only available on mobile games, but this time they have also included a PC version as well. Now everyone is playing the version that is basically done for the PC, but this is going to be a beta version of this game so you might not get all the thrill for this game and it will be released on the same date the june 2nd now the time for the cuphead as the teaser indicates this is the game's final dlc aside from that this game offers uh, several new characters and i enjoy the game's environment it makes me feel like i'm uh, watching a cartoon and the theme is attractive I mean like Cuphead and Mugman, I adore it. I feel like I'm living in a keychain. So on June 13, the DLC will be released. Don't miss out this opportunity. And if you want to learn further about games, you can subscribe to my GamePod channel and enjoy the show. Number 9, The Elder Scroll High Isle. The Elder Scroll High Isle is another game that will be released in June. This game includes a new Elder Scrolls story and all new saints. I mean, in lands never before seen in any Elder Scroll game. As a result, this game comes with a lot of desire. Let's hope it continues to live up with our expectation. In trailers, we also saw a lot of clips and castles. The plot revolves around a nightly conspiracy and a war. This game will be available on PC, Mac and Steam on June 6th and on consoles such as the Xbox and PlayStation on June 21st. Let's hope it's better than the previous versions. The 8th position showed up and in my opinion it is the best for this game, Starship Troopers Terrain Command. It is a game of real time strategy. I saw a battle between humans and aliens in this game, not a battle between humans. And I'm not thrilled with the gameplay because it appears to be a standard strategy or third person shooter game. I was hoping for a new plot and I'm disappointed with this. But in any case, this game will be available on PC and Steam on the June 16th. It's now Madison's turn. A first person psychological game in which you start in a dark room with blood on your hands. The main storyline revolves around you being taken hostage by a demon called Madison and you must not be set free. That needs you to engage with the demon. A large portion of the game revolves around puzzles and taking pictures with an instant camera to see what's going on. It's a nice looking game and yes, it will be released on June 24th and I can't be sure because I haven't got any confirmation so if I do, I'll let you know. Slit is an aquatic horror game that looks very similar to Limbo but is created by a different developer. Spiral Circus Games created it and it takes place underwater so we can get expect some new features or gameplay in comparison to Limbo. The ability to move in any direction is the best thing about this game. It's a scuba diving platformer set underwater. but. If you ever played Limbo, I think you will recognize the flavor and from my perspective, it's like playing a Limbo at a higher level. It was released on Steam on June 1st with the other consoles following later. Next is the Fire Emblem Warriors 3 Hopes, the spin-off of the Fire Emblem 3 Houses. It's a warrior style game, not a tactical RPG where you fight hordes of enemies and dynasty warriors. I believe we get some character from the Fire Emblem Three Houses. Based on the visual graphic, I believe this game will be enjoyable. Let's see what happens. 
it will be available on Nintendo on June 24th next coming is the Sonic Origins this is a remastered version of the first five Sonic games the games is a collaboration of Sonic Hedgehog Sonic CD Sonic 2 Sonic 3 and Sonic Knuckles or you can say Sonic 3 and Knuckles because it all runs on the same engine Sonic Mania which handles all kind of this very well and fixes Sonic's old problems it will in my opinion of course will be the best Sonic games for all the time it will also be a lot of fun to play Sonic Origins will be available on PC and other consoles on June 23 the third and final game in the Mario Strikers series and one of Nintendo's sports oriented game is Mario Strikers Battle League in this game you can form a team of 20 players and complete all of your objectives in a single season you can create teams and new strategies after a long time you can say particularly for this game the previous game was released in 2007 for the Nintendo Wii and the multiplayer content is the most exciting I appreciate the multiplayer games so I assume this will be entertaining for me and the Mario Kart is the most enjoyable aspect of this series if you have ever played Mario Kart and if you combine Mario Kart with the soccer you will see a fun battle you can simply throw Mario Kart items at the opposing player on June 10th this game will be released for the Nintendo switch so prepare yourselves and there is one more thing if you enjoyed this information and video please like it and share it with your gaming friends as well as subscribe and click the bell icon so you don't miss any future updates on this channel finally there is the query the spiritual successor to the supermassive game until dawn another one is the query the studio's first post dark picture anthology game this game is unquestionably going to be the best game of this month also one of the best game of this year because there is so much to talk about this game number one this game was created by a very talented team they have already given us lots of new interesting games and stories such as until dawn and house of ashes number two this game has the potential of 186 different endings which is insane what exactly is that do i have to play through the all the endings and number three pre-ordering this game will grant you access to a new feature called death rewind it means that if a character dies in this game you can go back and choose whether to make them die or to make a different choice this game developer has already produced a good game of this type so I am looking forward to this game as well on June 10th this game was released all across all the platforms that's all I've got for now gamers for the most recent news reviews and trailers like share and subscribe to this channel and click the bell icon to be notified of new videos and I'll be adding new games all the time so get ready for the ultimate gaming experience Keep playing gamers.